but the Internet of Things, whatever it is, you know, is a very complex issue which needs the involvement of all the various parties. And sometimes if I read the reports from policy uh, people in the Commission or also in the Parliament, then I realize, okay, um, it cannot be settled alone anymore by the politicians. So that means they, they have to have the linkage to the technical experts, to the business people. You have a very close relationship because nobody uh, has all the knowledge and nobody can handle the system alone. And we have to find a way to bring this to uh, together to understand what's going on and then to make um, use of it which uh, produces you know, new services uh, for people, which respects the rights and freedoms of the people, and which generates also the wealth of the, 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 the future, economic growth, so that um, business can further evolve, and also, you know, that we will stimulate an environment for new technical innovations. And uh, I think this mixture is the beauty um, of these uh, recent developments, and in so far, um, you know, it was also for me a very exciting uh, two years when uh, I was surrounded only by engineers and uh, I had a lot of things to learn <laughs> to understand what their language is and uh, probably they also have to learn w w what the language of the governance and policy people is. But at the end of the day, it works in both directions and I think this is also a little bit the rationale behind our planned dynamic coalition on the Internet of Things, you know, to create a platform where people, you know, with totally different backgrounds, sitting in different silos, can come together and have a place for the exchange of ideas, information, and knowledge.